All right, what is going on guys, Lone here, and uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how to actually make Fallout 3 or Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition work on Windows 7 or later. Um, if you have Windows 8, it should work as well. So just a few steps you guys got to do. First and foremost, install Fallout 3, and then what you're going to want to do is right-click it, go to Properties. You're going to go to Local Files, Browsical Files. You're going to want to find Fallout 3, the application, I might say, .exe. You don't want the security catalog type, you want the application. Right click it, go to properties, compatibility mode, run this program in competitive mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. Okay, disable visual themes, disable desktop composition, and run it as administrator. You want these three boxes checked, Windows XP Service Pack 2, apply, hit OK. You're going to do the same thing for the Fallout launcher. Same exact thing. Properties. Hold on a second. Let me go ahead and make sure I got this selected properly. Compatibility. Service Pack 2. Windows XP. Disable visual themes. Disable desktop composition. Run as administrator. Now that you have that done, what you're going to need to do is actually find your Fallout I and I file. And to do that, you just simply go to your documents. Uh, you should find the folder called My Games. Open it up. Find Fallout 3. And there should be two configuration files here, two I and I files. You're going to want this one, not the prefs, but the regular Fallout one, okay? You're going to open this with Notepad or Notepad++, doesn't matter. Here it is. You're going to go down. Let me try to find it here. Uh, B, use, find next. Next, next, next. Where is it? Cache, no, no, no. Right there. You're going to want to find the BU's threaded AI, okay? And yours is going to say equals zero. You're going to want to change it to a one, just like I did here. So find this line, BU's threaded AI, make sure it equals one. And below that, you're going to have to add this line. This line will not be in yours. You're going to have to add it yourself. I'll put this in the description as well. So uh, you're going to want that to equal 2. This will tell the game to use more than one processor because for some reason the game only wants to use one and that will cause crashes on Windows 7 or later. So you're going to want to tell it to use at least two. I wouldn't put it any higher than this because that might also cause crashes, but keep it at a 2. Click File, Save, close this out, and uh, you should be good to go. Just for... Uh, if you want to be extra safe, go ahead and disable uh, Windows Arrow themes and put it to a classic or something like that. But it should be it, guys. You should be able to play. There shouldn't be any more crashes and everything. It should be hunky-dory. So if this helped you out, hit the like button below. Subscribe if you have not. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions. And, uh, oh, one last thing. Some other tutorial videos out there telling you to download a some sort of DLL file, something like D39 or DB39 or some shit, some DLL file. Do not download that unless you uh, have Intel integrated HD graphics. If you have an NVIDIA card or a, a separate graphics card in your computer, you're not going to need to download that DLL. Uh, half the time you get malware from the download sites that they provide, so don't do that, please. 